Okay, the last email comes from Mike. He says, hey, John, did you hear about Warner Brothers Animation is developing a Funko movie based on the Funko Pop figurines? If this gets made, do you think this movie could be more like the Lego movie (laughs) or the Emoji movie? Well, first of all, yes, there's this story going around uh, that Warner Brothers is looking to do in Funko Pops. Now, it all comes from this. I'm always telling you guys, look back to the source, so I want to be completely transparent here. This is the source. It's not from the studio. The studio's not confirmed this. It's not from one of the major trades. But it's from a, a somewhat reliable source. It's from this uh, one of the writers for this website called Super Bro Movies that has broken a number of scoops of foreign things that don't always turn out to be true, but quite often they, they have some accurate stuff. So take that with a grain. So I think it's at least worth discussing because of who they are. And it was uh, a guy by the name of Daniel uh, Richmond who puts this out. So the basic gist of it is this. He got his hands on a picture of a basically a, uh, a cork board that's laying out the various Warner Brothers animation projects that are coming. And there's this year's all this and this. And on one of the spots was a Funko Pop movie. Now, let's go on the assumption for a moment, just for the sake of discussion. Let's go on the assumption that this is all legit and it's real. Could this be more like Lego or more like, um, what was that, Emoji, Emoji. Movie? Uh, it, that's impossible to say. That's, that's absolutely impossible. There is no inherent value in doing a movie about Funko Pops. Just like there was no inherent value in doing a movie about plastic building blocks Lego. <laughs> but they did, the, did it, and they made it great. There's no inherent value in doing a movie about emo, Emojicons, but they did it, and it turned out to be a crime against the human race. It was absolutely disgusting. There is nothing here to to judge what they can do. What is interesting, though, is because in the Lego movie, when Warner Brothers did the Lego movie, obviously had a lot of DC characters, but Disney also gave them the uh, the right to use a lot of their characters. Yeah, there's Star Wars characters in it. There are Marvel characters appearing in it. What gets me potentially excited about something like this? But, but by the way, let's go to a wide shot here. So it's because if you can see behind me here, I got. Lots. I have hundreds of pops. I got addicted, thanks to Ray. I got addicted to these pop things. Ray bought me my first uh, ever pops, Sam and Dean Winchester from Supernatural, my first pops, and it kind of like broke the seal for me, and then I just, I bought hundreds of them. So I got a whole ton of these things. But the idea is you could, we could conceivably have like a movie where they're saying characters like uh, Darth Vader is confirmed. They're saying is, I mean, again, it's, it's, whether or not the reports are true, but Darth Vader would be one of the key characters. Wonder Woman would be one of the key characters. Uh, and all these different properties. We could see DC characters and Marvel characters side by side doing something cool in these Funko Pop things. I'll tell you what. I don't know if this is all legit. It certainly looks legit to me. But take the is it legit thing aside. I'll tell you this. If it is legit, I think this is a great thing to roll the dice on. Yeah, it's a it's a great thing. To roll. And look, there's nothing inherent story wise in Funko Pops. Can they come up with a great story? Well, that's yet to be seen, but I'd love to see them take a shot at it. I, I'm with you 100 percent. I mean, who doesn't love Funko Pops? They just They're put a great. smile on your face. Yes, you know? they do. There's a really great documentary I watched on Netflix about the Funko Pop phenomenon, where they came from. They really went in depth with the company and where it came from. And, you know, that's the, the funny thing that that. Yes, there's always people who are going to be deeply cynical about these things. Sure. But look, movie making in general, no one's making movies as a charity. <laughs> you right. know, this, is, this is all a business. But when people get angry or, or they, they, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, they're making a Funko Pop movie, some crass commercialization, don't be a destroyer of joy. <laughs> Just love what they're doing. It's a Funko Pop movie. If it's done like the Lego film, it could be a lot of fun. I mean, can you imagine they could get Ryan Reynolds to voice Deadpool? Oh. I mean, the, what they could do, James Earl Jones could be the voice of, of Darth Vader. They can I mean, do it. what they could do in a movie like that could be absolutely hysterical. Yeah. Or, or a total they, train wreck. They I could mean, emoji that thing. But yeah, I don't it think could be emoji. It could be Lego movie. But the fact of the matter is we saw what happened. Like, I thought that the idea of a Lego movie was absolutely preposterous. Me too. A movie about plastic building blocks. And they made one of the most charming, endearing animated films I've seen in a long time. And I cannot wait to see Lego movie too. So now do that, just take that same approach, try it with these different figures, and it can be anything. It could be great, it could be bad. There's nothing here to indicate it one way or the other. They don't inherently lend themselves to being great characters and great movies. So, But I don't know. I'm excited about it. I'd like to see it. Robert, do you know when Funko Pops exploded on the scene? Because I'm not 
as someone that doesn't own figurines, like I, I'm not as familiar. Like Legos, I owned Legos. And yeah. So I feel like there was some nostalgic element well, over to the like film. Over like the last but 15 years. 15, yeah. Yeah. No, and, and, Have it, they been along that that long? Yeah, well, they started. Really out, they came... were diff. They were much different as they right. developed, and they've really exploded over what the last five years, maybe. But their history and, and how they started was really interesting, because there were characters like the the serial character like Quisp, mm. you know that that and yep. it was really interesting like where how they they were they were like they were product characters first before they got the licensed characters and it's really interesting to the first one was like a bobblehead uh, Bob's big boy. yeah Ray that, is that's right. the first one was a that's bobblehead right. with the, Bob's big the boy the Bob's big boy bobblehead that's right uh, yeah. Well, they can't hear you, Ray. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Ray. But that, that's correct. a good point there because Ray knows a lot. Of, Ray. I mean, I remember when I was at my offices in Burbank. Ray and Jonathan. It seemed like every lunch hour is like, okay, we're off to hot topic. We're gonna go buy new. Can they come back with new loads of these Funko Pop things? There, they are really addictive. And the great thing is about them, it's not like a hot toy. Right. It's not like where you got to shell out three hundred bucks <laughs> for one. They're like twelve bucks. Yeah. You can get them for ten. You can get them like two for fifteen or something like that. It's they're great, and they bring jo- and you're, it's exactly that. They bring joy. They bring joy. I look at them, and they just make me happy. Yeah, there's too many people who are just, I call them the destroyers of joy. Don't the be a destroyer of joy. 